Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Baby Metal, Metal Kingdom. They just released this today. I think I'm in it. Uh, they released it 12 hours ago. I was late to the release of this song, which really sucks. But I not today, you guys. Not today. <laughs> I'm jumping on this one immediately. Uh, I said in that video, like, how amazing would this be live? And lo and behold, we got it. So freaking excited. Let's go we're we're gonna not talk we're just gonna get into it oh that's sick look at the thrones so is this live live like wow Freaking awesome. Look at that stage, man. Okay, so real quick. I didn't I never like the other one, all of the teasers and all the things with the thrones gives me like very Game of Thrones vibes, but I didn't want to just say that. I really didn't want to just go out there and say that and do a comparison like that, but it, it kind of does. Like the Iron Throne and then, you know, what Sue's sitting on looks very comparable, but it's awesome. It is so sick, and their outfits are all blacked out. Man, so this is clearly not an actual live video, but I thought it would be but the cinematography i'm loving like the drone footage and we're getting different perspectives like it is phenomenal like 4k cameras going in hot i love it so they have three thrones there too Oh, so another thing too, um, Jake in the last one dropped the Metal Kingdom uh, lyrics. So I've been trying to like piece together. It's really difficult for me. If you guys have any advice on how to do this, um, I'm trying to like piece together the ja the Japanese lyrics to the English versions and trying to like catch the words. Like I'm trying to learn Japanese at this point. It's so crazy that baby Mel's doing that to me. Look how good that is. Oh my goodness. Like, was that the part where she says, trust your friend? I have the lyrics up here. So in my first reaction to Metal Kingdom, I didn't know that that was Mo singing, right? I no idea. I I didn't know. I'm so glad that they introduced her in like, because the first verse that they did when they did the raise your hand or you raise your head to the Lord, 
I didn't see Mo and I was like, don't do this. Don't do this. Cause like people that are not familiar, like I wasn't thought that was Sue. And I thought that was just effects, right? I thought that they, you know, popped in Sue and made it sound like a backing track, but no, it's Mo. And that's freaking awesome. I'm so glad that they put that in there and like showed a shot of her singing. Cause, oh man, I, I wouldn't, I would be disappointed if they were just doing like the chanting, you know, that is awesome. Let's go. So I believe we just got after the negative words. I don't need a way back. And uh, the see again, I'm trying to do the lyrics here, but wow. This rip, man, for a chorus. <laughs> Guys, that is freaking amazing. The cinematography in that whole live show was just so incredible, right? Like the whole drone footage, them coming in hot, like the high quality of everything about it. I think like the purpose of this like drone footage video, right? It might be too soon. You know, you have to think about like the production quality of like a live show and how they have to mix and edit. It might be too soon for like an actual live show. But to make a cinema, like an official, so this, I'm guessing this is their official music video for Metal Kingdom, right? To, to do it the way that they did it and to make it so cinematograph, so cinematic, right? And this right here is going to get fans. It got me pumped up to actually go out and see a live show. Like if that's what you're going to get, Cause you guys know ticket prices are insane right now. And then just the whole economic environment that we live in. But if you're going to pay money 
to go see a show. That's the show you want to go pay for and see. Like, lo look at how much went into that. That's incredible. The, the, oh, man, I wish I was in there. Like, that is phenomenal. That, it's, it's incredible. I'm, like, blown away by the production quality and by, like, the props and the stage and the lighting. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I I quite ha I haven't seen anything quite like that. Maybe a Rammstein, but like even then, it's still not at the caliber of like a baby metal show. You know what I mean? That is unbelievable. If that doesn't pump you up to see them live, I don't know what will. And also, I want to point out the Three Thrones, right? I know that there's been talks about new member possibly. I, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Do you think they should just keep it to Sue and Mo? Like, what what do you what do you guys think? And who could possibly be the third replacement? I, I don't know what to do with that information. So one of my New Year's resolutions was to dive deeper into baby Mel. I like really want to like inform myself and be knowledgeable about this band. So with that being said, I want to do the, the fan made guide, you know, the everything to baby Mel guide the universe. But there were some songs on there that said, uh, some people said that I would get spoiled to, and one of them was being death. So if you guys can link down from the legend 1997 show, like, let me know what's going to be okay to listen to, um, on YouTube. I would, that'd be great. And then any other, Songs you guys think I should get to before I get to the guide. I know that we've talked about it in the past, but like, frick, man, it's been so long. But this is the year of Baby Mel. I swear, this is the year. And I want to be on board with it. I'm loving this album so far. Like, oh, it is, it is good. Probably the album of the year for me. To be, If I'm going to be totally honest, if they keep releasing songs the way that they are doing it, and like Metal Kingdom for me has grown on me. When I first listened to it, I thought it was not as good as like Monochrome and Divine Attack, but then I kept listening to it and it kept like blowing my mind and giving me chills. Like that is so crazy to just get chills the, as hard as I am. Like I'm in a jacket, like I am warm and it is bumping up my arm like oh. That Mo singing in the two verses were so freaking impactful to me. I love it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more Baby Mel and continue on this journey with me. All right, guys. Bye.